I dropped the ball. I couldn't get the I couldn't get yesterday's vlog done in time. Oh shit, man. I have to wait until after today's stage. So I'm gonna have to post two today. One from yesterday and then one from today later tonight. I need to hire some college kids or something. I know. It's a good idea. And when I say hire, I mean like in like free internship kind of stuff. <laughs> well, it's not free, they get work experience. <laughs> that's how, yeah, exactly. That's how you gotta look at it. I'm trying to see how times compare this year to last year. Stages are the same, yeah? For the most part? Yeah, yeah. Dude, I was faster than last year's. Whoa. Yesterday. So first day, I was like a minute 10 slower. Yesterday, I was like almost three minutes faster. I like how you're just recording like, what? you're surprised, like the big reveal, you're like, well, man, it turns out I'm even faster now. <laughs> Get shit out of my face. <laughs> well, I, mean, I am surprised. But uh, it's fantastic, man. Especially for yesterday's stage, like. You know, honestly, man, it's probably just the conditions. <laughs> well, like last year, it was four of us. Like right. this year, it was just Cypress and I. That's cool. There's just not enough hours in the day. I felt like playing the guitar yesterday more than I felt like editing video. So maybe I'll turn it around today and get it done. You know, today's stage in my book is the queen stage. Basically all the best trails right in the front range of of Pisgah Forest. It's like 20, it's like 31 miles with 5,600 feet of climbing. So it sounds pretty brutal and it is, but the majority of the climbing is on gravel road. So you like gravel road up and then rip trail down. So it's actually a pretty fast stage. I need to do nutrition. I need to make bottles and stuff. As you guys know, I'm on the flow program. So what does that mean? That means flow 60, 90 mix in my bottles. Um, that's about it. That's what that means. <laughs> I'm also going to bring two of these never second gels as backup. I've got Kerm out there giving me a feed today about halfway through. So I'm going to take three bottles total. So that means each bottle I'm going to do 60 grams of carbs in. So I'm going to do one scoop of this and one scoop of this in each bottle. It's a two and a half hour bike race. 180 grams of carbs per for the whole thing. Ugh, math is really hard this morning. Divided by two and a half. Well, if, if we divide it by two, that would be 90. And then I've also got those gels for more carbs. So yeah, we'll be, we'll be good out there. That'd be good. Look at this guy. Didn't even bother cleaning his bike. Andrew signed up for the three day. Embarrassing. You can put as many grams of carbs in your bottle as you want, basically. Especially with the flavorless stuff. If you want to be cool like me, use flow formulas. You can do it at a discounted rate. Just use carry 20 for 15% off your purchase. I'll put this on and uh, I guess we're going to leave. Uh, that sun is not going to be out tomorrow morning. Why are you dancing? What's that? I already got all my dancing done for the day. Oh. Yeah, it's been here a while. You don't look like it. <laughs> I don't.
ahead and race. Just... Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. A bruise is a hematoma, right? Dude, I don't know. What if I touched it? You think you would cry? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck with your x-ray. I've had like 15 of these Tylenol, so it actually didn't affect me. Oh. There was a lot of climbing today. 6,000 feet over 30 miles. 200 feet per mile. My legs hurt. Right off the start, Cypress kind of took over and pushed up the first climb, which was roughly a 13 minute effort at like 360. <clears throat> and that was mostly single track. Then we had a fun little descent on Sycamore and then we climbed up the descent we did yesterday, the finishing descent. And it kind of had a, a bit of a stair step. We climbed up the single track and it was like another 13 minute climbs, another 13 minute climb at 390. Then we had like a quick little descent and another 13 minute climb, well 11 minute climb at 360. Then we descended gravel and had a really big push up to the top of Black. 26 minutes at 350. Uh, descended Avery Creek, which was running awesome. That was such a good, such a good descent. And then climbed up Avery Creek Road to Bennett's, which was like a 20 minute effort at 360. Drop down Bennett's which was the enduro. I was just kind of getting through that. It'd be interesting to see how much time Cypress put on me. Uh, and then the final climb up Clawhammer to Maxwell, 23 minutes at 360. And then the final descent in, but it was just like, it was like threshold effort after threshold effort. So it made for like a pretty quick day. Cause like, if you're feeling pretty good, you were just like pounding up these gravel roads and then like ripping down single track. So it was kind of, if you felt good, you could get in a good flow and like really push up the gravel and then rip down the single track. So I think my finish time was roughly three minutes faster than last year. I took I took a lot of time on GC today. I don't know exactly how much, but like I think Cypress had a bad day out there. So yeah, I capitalized. Just put the knife in and twisted it a bunch. I really want to know how much time Cypress put into me on the Enduro. He's just like, He's a bit of a magician, like squeaking time out. 20 seconds yesterday on that enduro, and I felt like I was going pretty good. I think I need another nap. Probably another bowl of cereal, sandwich. Ah, I wish somebody could clean my bike. Five days of doing the same thing gets old, but it's worth it. That's what I keep telling myself. <laughs> Fine. Some like elevator lounge. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're okay. The shortest line yet. Where is everyone? Are they still racing? Yeah. It's empty. Thanks. Thank you. Great thing. We uh, had our crash today. Went to the hospital in Nashville. Really? Yeah. Andrew, a, a friend of mine, broke his thumb. That's two injuries that I know about. So he says you owe him five bucks because he accidentally hit that gap. No, uh -huh. Yeah, he was trying to avoid it and like hit the takeoff accidentally. Oh, really? Yeah. I'll give him five bucks. Half on kind of the upper technical. Dude, where is everyone? 
I don't know. That's Is what everybody too. hurt out there? We've got Broken Thumb Andrew. Somebody just told me they accidentally hit the gap jump and yeah, you, you, went to you, the... You owe him five bucks. <laughs> I do He's owe in the him. hospital right now, so you may have to take him a care package. I'll, well, I can do Venmo. <laughs> Yeah. I promised everyone yesterday, if anybody hit the gap jump, it was five bucks, and if they made it, I'd give them ten. I saw him at the A station, because, well, that gap carry was me five bucks. Did he say that? <laughs> yeah. So, I guess I owe five bucks. Up. The time at 2.57.33 from Asheville, North Carolina, Nick Bragg. Hey, Nick Bragg is here. And Nick Bragg is not here. Tell Ryan to stand in. So Ryan needs to stand in. Yeah. It's coming from the top. Uh, upper management. I'm just, I'm just the messenger. How do you get your jersey? <laughs> she can get it. Okay. She doesn't. Uh, need all right. So third place from Pistol Farms, North Carolina. The time is 2:53:09. Cypress Glory. The 2:34:57. Kerry Warner Jr. So tomorrow, 31.5 miles, 4,100 feet of climbing. And we had a protest. People were tired of hearing Carrie talk, so we have a uh, Mr. Gordon Wadsworth coming on up tonight because this is the stage. So yeah. move over, bacon. Here comes Sizzleine. Huh? <laughs> Nobody protested. Thanks, Ryan. You're this is my favorite stage, so I, I asked Ryan if I could do this. Because it is, it's fantastic. The debate is whether this is the queen stage, as we often call it, because it's a little bit later in the week, or whether yes, uh, today's is the queen stage. Pretty tough today, right? Yeah. Three dares that like drain the sparkle right out of your legs. <laughs> so it definitely drained the sparkle out of mine. Be a pretty smooth, fast-flowing section of gravel. Um, gravel's so hot right now. And then we turn hot into what's often called funnel top. It's also sort of double tracky and it gets narrow as you move over towards squirrel. Who remembers squirrel gap from yesterday? <laughs> squirrel gap is a dream. That trail injures more locals than any other trail. I just want you to hear that. <laughs> Which is good, you guys aren't locals mostly, so you'll be fine, it's, it's gonna work out. Go high on the mountain and slide down. If it looks like you can sneak left, it's lying. It's a fib. It's, it's not the case. Laurel Mountain is this awesome climb. It is a minimum 50 minutes to an hour for all of us, I think. I mean, carry 50 minutes. Yeah, it's I think a they long can, time. I think the KOM's like 104. Yeah, it's a long climb. And it's a, it's a short hike, is the nice part. Some say Jeremiah Bishop has cleaned it. No. If you have the benefit of having nobody around you, you can also tell that lie. <laughs> and you can it, right? Everyone walks that. You go up substantially, up to about 5,000 feet, right? So maybe pack a rain jacket, mock damn it, just absolutely haul in bits with some laurels that reach in and want your handlebars. So be mindful of that. Pretty infamous rock garden. That rock garden is kind of a, a, a notch, right? It's gonna really suck your bike like a tractor beam down into it. Starting around on squirrel, that's your yellow gap, get your pickle juice. So that's your stage four, Franditos. I hope you enjoy as much as I will. It's gonna be great. Do you have questions? Do we take questions, Carrie? Nobody ever asked them. <laughs> There's no gap jumps. I'm not, I won't pay you if there are. No river crossing. No river crossing? You do. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you.